Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. It was a long ride, but I finally made it to beautiful, sunny Daytona Beach for the National Reptile Breeders Expo, one of the biggest reptile shows in the world. Now, if you're not here, I highly recommend you make a visit to this show one day. It's got the best vibes. It's totally different than all the other shows. These beaches are just beautiful. You could actually drive on the beach. The scenery is just amazing. You could meet up with a lot of old friends, make some new friends. Now, today is Friday. They're gonna have a VIP entry. You pay $100, you get a three-day pass, and you get to go a day early. So if you really want that special reptile, I highly suggest doing the VIP entry. So I'm gonna go in, record everything, and then starting tomorrow will be the regular Reptile Expo where I'm gonna record everything for you guys. But I'm thirsty, I need some caffeine. So I'm gonna go to one of the local coffee breweries. We're going to get some coffee and head to the show. guys I made it to the coffee house I got a Cuban coffee plus an iced coffee I got that Cuban coffee just in case there's not enough caffeine in here because you know I got a long day today and I gotta keep a smile on my face if I don't have that caffeine I might not be the friendliest person in the world but I want to make a toast for all you guys watching the video this is a beautiful day make a toast to all the reptiles that we're gonna see today and all the amazing people here's to you guys so to up the ante, I got a Cuban coffee. Instead of drinking it hot like that, it's too hot out here. I'm just gonna dump it right in there. Oh yeah, give that extra kick of caffeine. All right guys, I got that magical coffee right now. I'm feeling really nice. I feel so blessed that I'm able to do something I'm passionate about and be out here recording these videos and you guys have been watching it. So I feel so blessed for that. Now I'm gonna drink this and head out to the show. I'll meet you there in a couple of minutes, and if you can't make it, don't worry, I'm going to record everything for you guys. Alright guys, I just made it to the Ocean Center. I want to show you guys something real quick. Now for those of you who can't make it, I want to give you the full experience. This is the struggles we're having when we come to these big shows. I'm about a block away, the Ocean Center is all the way down there. We're waiting in line just to park but it's all for fun. So normally this hallway right here is crowded with people and it's all the way out the door around the block. VIP entry one day early. There's almost nobody here. I'm sure there's some people inside. Vendors are still getting set up. So I definitely like this. VIP entry. I don't have to wait in a long line and I get to see these amazing reptiles a day before the general public. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Daytona National Reptile Breeders Expo 2023 VIP entry day. For those of you who couldn't make it to the show or are going but didn't pay that extra hundred dollars for VIP day, I got you covered, I'm inside, I'm going to show you what went down, what it looked like, and then Saturday and Sunday I'll be back to record the actual show, we're going to do full walkthroughs, this is just a sneak peek, enjoy the video.
No, just one. I, I don't do a lot of get to the complex stuff. Yeah. Well, you'll like it. I'll do that male. Okay. I mean that female. Okay. And that male. Let me that male. put this camera down. Yeah, that is a I really love this cool one right male. here. Those are all siblings. And like I said. They're all siblings. I was going to ask you that. Of these, except for the WS animals. Okay. So, because it was a huge, was two dinosaurs that bred each other. And it was a, um, a honey motley to a silver queen shatter. And that's okay. why I got all the elements. And they're, so they're carriers from the same things as Walters. They're shatter hats. Right. His are either het albino or het caramel when you get them from him. Okay. His are het caramel. So you can get the blue and the green version. You know, the blue, blue gray with the green blotches, like yeah. Chris Nicholas advertises. Mm -hmm. So you can get that with that flesh. I think I have to have this one. Okay, cool. Sorry. Yeah, that cool. The money jumped out the pocket. I did not wait. I have the mail. The sun, with Sunkiss? Yeah. yeah, those are some of the nicest snakes. I was actually thinking about getting her because I could get some heads, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you don't find them. Really good price. If you buy it, you'll see it on video. I'm trying to get me back to buy something else. <laughs> oh! Let me see those Desert Kings in Pattern. And then she's got a lot of black on her. Oh yeah, that's a good pickup. Beautiful, beautiful. She looks healthy too. Nice and fat. Mm -hmm. They get, they can, the females will get like up to seven foot. Some of them are even a little bit bigger, but but they the, stay thin, right? Yeah, the males will be around like four foot, sometimes five foot. I got a couple of males around four to five foot. That's cool. But they're super manageable, man. Everyone says they're really whippy and bouncy and stuff and flighty, but it's just for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and then obviously you see he's chill as heck. Are they like arboreal too? or Yeah, they're arboreal? majorly arboreal, more than anything. They will cruise the ground, but they're more branch to branch, tree to tree runners. They're like humid? Yeah, they're tropical. South America. Thank you so much. But they'll get cold too. I'm going to try to rig this um, sign up a little better today so it's a little better display, but I'm not sure where to try to hook it up, man. Yeah. I don't really have a stand for it exactly or whatever, so. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm here with Bud Fultz. And he has an interesting raffle he's doing this year. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? All right, yeah. So we're raffling off this uh, beautiful little scaleless palmetto male, uh, $20 a ticket. Uh, buy six tickets for $100. And great chance to win a $2,500 baby. So you can't go wrong on that. So it's just twenty dollars for a per ticket. ticket. Yep. And when is when are you going to give the snake away and say who's going to uh, do the winner? The drawing will probably be Sunday about one o'clock or so, and so we're selling tickets Friday, Saturday, and Sunday up until about noon, and then have a drawing about one o'clock. Perfect. And can you show me and the? This is, the winner is uh, this little male right here. So whoever wins will get this little yep. scaleless. Yep. And that's a that's a great thing because for twenty bucks to get a scaleless palmetto, he's worth twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. And he's gonna look like that in a year from now. I mean, really, he's gonna look a lot like that in about a year. So, so I always said I wouldn't buy one of these racks because they're very expensive. I build my own, but after seeing them many times, they're amazing, and I would definitely treat myself to one one day.
Anyhow, these are some really, really big bins. Can't probably tell on camera, but I could probably lay in that bin if I wanted to. This would be a dream come true for me, for my adult colubrids. A lot of space in these, wow. I love the clear front so you can see the animal. This is what I would like. Nice clear bins. Beautiful, look at that. Only thing that would make it better is if they had the built-in deli cup holder for the water bowls, but still beautiful. And that's what I was talking about, that built-in deli cup holder for the water cup. Perfect, so the snake can't tip it over. All set up? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah. We pretty much set up on Thursdays because they let us in noon to four on Thursdays, so we're done. All right, so I want to give you the full experience like you're here. We're walking into room number two. Room number two is a little bit smaller, actually a lot smaller. There's still some vendors setting up. Some vendors didn't even show up yet, but I'm going to show you what's going on in room number two.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. sorts of exotics that people don't want to care for anymore and we try oh. to find homes for them. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I think you're the only one doing that at the show. Yeah, this is our 10th year here. Oh, the 10th year? So normally I go through each table, I show you the vendor's name, I show you the prices of the animals, I go through it in detail. That's not what this is, I'm just breezing through just showing you guys how it is on VIP day, but my next couple of videos, the full walkthroughs, I'm gonna get in detail on everything. They're nice and calm, you know? Yeah. That's what I like about them. They're good girls. They're good babies. <laughs> you do everything yourself or do you have, no one helps you? Well, my girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking for some stuff and I would go to Puerto Rico and all those things. I should have walked a little, not, left, not left the lid open. all yellow one in there, that's the albino spider. Okay, you want to sleep? All right, so I just got back to my hotel room. I picked up a couple of snakes, but in this video, I'm not showing you what I got. That'll be another video. I just wanted to talk about this VIP entry. This is the first year that they're doing this at the Daytona Expo. So I expected there to be not a very long line, but a decent amount of people. I expected more vendors to be set up. So when I got there, it was hard to get parking. But once you get online, there was not that many people there. When you get inside, it was almost like a ghost town. There was like maybe 20 or 30 people in that huge building walking around. It wasn't that many people. A lot of the vendors were not set up. Some vendors weren't even there yet. There was a couple of tables set up. Luckily for me, Lee Abbott, Craig Trumbauer, a couple of others, they were just about fully set up. So I got to pick out some snakes. But overall, this really isn't 
for just a person that's coming with their family to see what they have or if you have one or two setups at home with nothing in it you're thinking about filling it you're not sure what you want this definitely isn't for you this is for somebody that really is a hardcore breeder or someone that really needs a specific gene animal and you want to get in there before anybody else so by Saturday you already have your animal you don't have to worry about it that's what this is really for is it worth a hundred dollars I guess it is because it's a three-day pass I got an extra day at the expo in a different scenery. Normally it's bumper to bumper traffic. There's so many people there. Sometimes it's hard to see the animals. Now it was just like a ghost town. You could walk up to any table. If they're ready, they have the animals. If they're not fully ready, you could watch them unpack and see what you like. So I definitely think it's a good experience. Would I do it again? Definitely. If I really need a particular animal, since I'm breeding so many snakes, I always need something. So I definitely make an extra day out of it. Now, I'm hungry. I'm not at home, so I'm not going to cook. I'm going to go and grab some food outside. Tomorrow, day one of the Daytona Expo. Day one really didn't start until all the people come. I can't wait to meet all you guys. I can't wait for the beat. Tons of people in there. I can't wait to record the whole event. This was just a tease. So I'm ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, get some nice coffee and head out to the show. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh yeah.